What up Wolfpack, it's your boy Mari, back again with another reaction video. Today we're getting into another Dimash video. Uh, the last video that I did from him was SOS, and it was amazing. I was literally blown away. At the end of the video, I'm pretty sure I said he was like the best singer on earth, which to be honest, I've gone back and watched that video lots of times, and I still stand by that. Like, I, that man is inhuman. So, we are getting into another video from him called Sinful Passion, which was the most highly recommended video in that comment section from the Deers, which are the name of his fan base, which is super cute. You guys are very passionate, and uh, I, I get why. The man is is inhuman. So, I, I really don't know what to expect this video, you guys have told me that it's very different than the last video, so <laughs> we'll see what happens, but we're gonna get into this video and see what kind of other blow your head off type stuff he's doing with his voice. So in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys on the other side. Peace. Kazakhstan всегда гордился и гордится своими талантами. Сейчас... На сцену выйдет представитель уже нового поколения казахстанских звезд. Парень, раньше нас, друзья, с вами понял, где больше зрителей поехал в Китай. И, между прочим, там, внимание, победил в проекте «Голос». В Китае человек из Казахстана победил с хитом от студио «Грешная любовь». Впервые на новой волне. Прорыв года. Окей, before they start... The singing competition that he's talking about in China that he won, that is the one that I reacted to in the last video, right? I feel like somebody told me that he didn't win that. Like he came in like second or third place, which like, how? Maybe he's done multiple singing competitions, but uh, if not, if he won, great. Dimash Kudaybergenov. Spesny Greshnaya Strast. Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay, so one, this song is already much deeper than the last song, SOS. It's like, it has a really long title, but whatever language that's in, I think French, I don't speak that language. So SOS for now. Uh, this song is a lot deeper than that song already. It gives me the ability to see more of his range just off bat. And I, I already know this is probably gonna get more crazy because I mean, it's Dimash. In the first song, I was starting to think especially like in the beginning until he like started to get down some that he was a counter tenor which is basically just uh what's the easy way to explain this it's basically a male singer whose natural singing range is almost falsetto their natural singing range is in a much higher than normal for a a male singer's range and so that's what i was thinking he was at the beginning of the sos song but you guys told me in the comment section basically no he's not anything he's dimash he can sing everything in 87 different languages so it's cool to be able to see more of his vocal range in this song and it kind of makes sense why you guys recommended this song after that one to be like hey he kills it up there now listen to him kill it down here What language is this in? I'm not even gonna, before people start trying to get all butt hurt that I didn't recognize whatever language this is, because again, I know he sings in every language known to man. Just tell me what language this is, because the title looks like it's in Russian, but this does not sound like Ruski. 
So, dude, what's the history of the song that he's singing? Okay, hold on, hold on. I know people are gonna be pissed off. Everybody is mad when I stop. I have stuff to say, and I don't want to miss anything by talking over, talking over his singing. So I'm gonna pause. Wow, that was that was really good. First off, uh, his style and technique is amazing, as I spent the entire last video talking about. But even more impressive than his technique is the style part. When you sing this well, you you tend to add your own flair to it. And the stylistic choices that he's making in this song, like the way he backed off that last note to let the reverb that they have on his vocals resonate through the stadium that he's singing in was just, just great. Speaking of, they have um, reverb, which is, if you don't know what reverb is, I discuss it a lot on this channel because basically everyone uses it because it's amazing. But uh, it's just the reverberating like ambient sound in a, a given space that you would hear, whether it be a, a amphitheater, a stadium, a bathroom, whatever, like all, all places have reverb, differing levels of reverb and with differing ambient noises, but all places, especially places with hard surfaces have reverb. And you can now, because we live in the 21st century and technology, you can, I say that, but you could add reverb to things before, but you get the point. Now you can add reverb to things even before it comes out of the speaker. And so they have reverb on his voice as well as it sounds like a little bit of delay. The delay, the volume on it isn't very high, but it's enough in the background to give you like kind of an, an echoey effect. And those two things paired with the stylic, stylistic choices that he is making to use breath in the right places to accentuate certain, you know, vowels and, and things of that nature is just so, it's it's very emotional. You know, it's it's a very, you feel what he's saying, even if you don't understand what he's saying. And that the, sound engineer or whoever made the decision to add those extra effects onto his voice just further you down that path of emotion. Mm. Okay, so like, oh, uh, uh, oh my god, okay, so good. This guy punches me in the face with his voice all the time, it's, it's crazy. I don't know if two people who don't have experience with like a bunch of singers, if they understand that everything this man is doing is intentional. It's crazy to see the amount of control that he has over his vocal cords, over his breath, uh, his range is crazy. Like the, the range he's displayed in this song already, not including all of those crazy high notes that he was hitting in SOS is already, like if he, if that was just his range, he would still be able to be a very accomplished, you know, world renowned singer. His ability to have power that far down to use that like mix there and, and, the breathiness to create like a contrast between the two and then the high notes that he was hitting in the other song like his his ability to be comfortable everywhere on the scale just like i'm offended i'm offended <sighs> gosh <laughs> Power. Mm. 
Okay. If I didn't already know that his mother was an opera singer and that he's basically been trained in all types of singing, including operatic singing, since birth, I mean, now you know. I didn't expect that, to be honest. I really expected him to just like keep punching me in the gut with the power of his lows, but wow, that is... That's dichotomy right there. Jesus. Just not not just his ability to sing, but also I'm kind of floored by this song. Like, who are creating these songs for him to sing like this? Is this his song? Cause like this is this is crazy. Who who thinks there is someone out here who can do this? Like, you know, like that's man, this is this, yeah, okay. That's the big difference from those belty low notes that he was hitting earlier. Wow. Wow. Okay, so they weren't showing his face when he was doing that, so I'm not sure if that was a vocal effect or if that was literally him singing. I don't even know like what that was to be like I'm I'm shook right now. Like I, I really don't know what to even the the closest thing that I can compare that to is like in in like Arabic music. Arabian music? I don't know the correct like PC word for it. In in music from the Middle East, they will uh, sometimes have like vocal like modulation that they that they're doing. It's like an oscillation between um, multiple notes. And I, again, I'm not experienced in that kind of music to know if that's a vocal effect or if that's like a a singing technique. I'm assuming it's a singing technique because like I usually hear it in older Arabic settings from the standpoint of like, I don't know, like Aladdin soundtrack or uh, Prince of Persia soundtrack. Not that those are like old, but the the setting and the the time in which those stories take place are um, older. And so they didn't have vocal effects back then like so i'm i'm assuming that's some type of singing technique but i i haven't come a, across it before like i i don't even know what to say about that but that was if that came like out of his mouth and that wasn't a vocal effect that's crazy you can really hear the delay Oh my god. All right, we're going back. We're going back. We're going back. I was I we're going back. I don't care. You can click off, you can leave, you can dislike. I don't care. We're going back. Okay, that was that was insane. Like I was waiting for him to finish so I could pause and lose my mind and he kept go Was that all in one breath? Like what? What? Ho ho 
we're going back. We're, we're going back. We're going back. Before I comment on it, we're going to go back. I, I need to know. I, I need to hear it all the way again. One more time. But before I walk out this room, never to sing again. How? 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 How, Sway? Take a few steps back. Go you ain't got the answers, man. You ain't got the answers. You ain't got the answers. All right, one more time. One, one more time for the road. Let's go. You can really hear the delay right here. Mm. Oh my god. Oh! Bruh. 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 This is... This, this man, how, 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 so, how, <laughs> this, how, how many, what the, okay, <laughs> like, I, I'm literally at a loss for it. My brain is melting right now. I really... I don't even know what to say to you right now. I'm supposed to be filming a video, but like I, I'm going to have to watch this like three or four or five more times to really digest what it is that he did going from that low to that high and the run he did it. Like people are going to focus on the high note when he, I mean, you could see it in his body. When he went from, I'm not even sure what that note is, to be honest. I'd have to go back and listen to it again. Please appreciate the run at the end of that. Like, it was, it was effortless. Like, he, he literally just stepped off a cliff and, and went down. I don't have anything cute or funny or clever or, or anything to say about just how many seconds was, was that of, of pure power and control ju just with the breath alone off one breath coming off several incredibly powerful notes he did all of that and then to finish it off with that run like mm. that face How are they not standing? This may be like a cultural difference thing because I don't know where he is right now. Um, I think the guy in the beginning said that he's in Kazakhstan, which is I think how you pronounce that word. I don't know if, if they don't do standing ovations or like whatever there, but how everyone in that crowd is not either on the floor in tears or like jumping up and down, screaming at his performance is beyond me. <laughs> correct. <laughs> that is the correct response. I mean, it'd be like that sometimes, bro. I, uh, I don't know who Boskov is, but um, I don't think he can be mad after seeing, hearing, whatever, what Dimash just did, that Dimash is getting all the shine. Like, it's... Thank 
группе о суде и Пайгалиага, Сигелькин Дрюкин Рахмет, за то, что вдохновляете нашу молодежь и за то, что воспитываете правильное музыкальное направление. Счастья вам! Приезжайте в Казахстан, мы вас любим очень! Димаш Кудайбергенов. Аплодисменты. Я сейчас не могу с тобой унести. Спасибо! It's interesting. Oh, it's almost over. I can say it at the end. На сцену приглашаются профессиональные сочинские носильщики, чтобы унести цветы Димаша Кудайбергенова. Amazing. Okay. All right. Time to. Okay. Okay. So, um, Dimash. Wow. That was. That was. That was amazing. That was really. <laughs> that was really amazing. Like. Uh, that was crazy. I thought it was very interesting to hear his voice. He sounds like a normal guy. He doesn't sound. Like super, you know, like Barry White has a super deep voice, or like, say, Michael Jackson has like a super high voice. Like, you, sometimes you, you, when you hear people talk, you're like, okay, I can see how this person could be a crazy great singer. He just sounds like a normal, I mean, I don't know what normal Kazakh guys sound like, but you know, he doesn't sound super crazy. His voice isn't, his speaking voice isn't in a crazy range, but his ability to do all that with his voice is super impressive his ability to paint the story of the song paint let's go with that this is stick with me here okay this is this is gonna be like a kind of weird connection to make but hopefully you can follow it at the end his singing has a big dichotomy to it between light and dark it's kind of like the old renaissance paintings which involves uh, heavy darkness and uh, a light source to create like three-dimensional looking pictures that are very like realistic and his singing is like that his singing is three-dimensional in a way that most singers aren't able to accomplish because they can't like they they aren't able to use such deep and and dark tones while also being able to powerfully use such bright high light tones and his ability to go back and forth in a single song it, it takes you on a journey that is is very it's dynamic it's very his singing is very dynamic I'm not sure what to compare him to. Like my background musically is much more contemporary. I don't know as much about like classical operatic singers. And so I I don't know what he reminds me. Like he's he's his own entity that I, I'm not sure what to draw a comparison to, but he's great. He's, he's really good. And you guys told me he's like in his mid 20s or something. Like he, he's a couple years older than me and he's doing this stuff. That's, I mean, it, it's really, it, it's an honor to, to be able to see him do his thing. But also it's kind of embarrassing. Cause I'm like, I, I can't do nothing close to that. So I'm like, what am I doing with my life? And he's so humble. He like thanked the band and uh, the keyboardist at the end, which is really cool. I think that is the same band that he used in the last video, because that guy with the long, like, curly hair who's on the keyboard, he looks familiar, but I definitely don't know any Kazakh bands, so I'm assuming that's his band. I didn't say a lot of smart or funny things this video. I just, I'm just in shock. Like I, I really, I, I don't know what to say about that other than like you don't need me to tell you that was amazing. If you will feel that with every fiber of your body. I really enjoyed the songs that I've heard so far from him and I would love to hear some more. So please don't hesitate to leave some comments down below of other recommendations of 
Dimash and other great singers that you'd like me to react to. And I will see you guys on the channel next time. Definitely make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share so we can keep doing this. Have a great day.